what is up youtube thrift school over here uh i'm doing a live walkthrough which i haven't done in a while pulled up to a savers in a random town that i rarely ever come to oh no i locked my money in the car i'm up in this town because i just sold a camera on facebook marketplace for 150 bucks which is pretty awesome and uh i have some extra spending money right so that's pretty awesome so we're gonna go inside here see what we could find you guys like the pink light i like the pink light and uh, i just haven't been live in a real long time so let's hot head in here let's see what we can find i'm sure we'll be able to find a couple things at least oh my gosh it's freezing i'm wearing shorts it was snowing all day today i didn't expect to be leaving the comfort of my warm home to sell a camera tonight but it's what happened so we're gonna go in what up from waterbury hello hello i'm in meriden at the moment all right so let's see here's a cart oh nice all right what up what up so where I, I don't come to this place a lot, so I don't know where everything is. I see video games though. Let's take a look. Anybody see anything good? Oh, that's a movie. Power Rangers Dino Thunder. Three dollars. And then a Harry Potter game. Harry Potter games can go for some good money. I don't think either one of these are worth it though. Terminator 3? The Redemption? That, that might be something guys. I'm not 100% sure. What else do we have up here? Guitar Hero rocks the 80s. We'll have to look that up. Now, sometimes I do like picking up Guitar Heroes because I bundle them with guitars and sell them, but um, I don't have any to bundle with right now. Summer sports, that's nothing. All right. And then they have some right here hanging. So we have a uh, Transformers for $2, SmackDown versus Raw for $2. I'm just gonna toss them in the cart, guys. We can look them up in a little bit. Oh, thanks, Yo Yost, for the 199 super chat. I know you've been subbed for a while. I just saw your comment on my video today saying that you need to organize your clothing that way. Very cool, very cool. Um, what do we have? These are all. Whoops. These are all PC games. Terminator is like $8 on Amazon disc only. Thanks for that. Yeah, I mean, I think this is complete. Oh, heavy. Let's take a look. Yeah, it is. So it might be worth a little bit more. I'm not sure. We'll still take a look. What do we have back here? Some Atari games and Leapster games. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. That's a shame. Stephen King, Needful Things, audio CD. It's brand new sealed. They want $10 for it, but I would still definitely check. Oh, hi, Kristen. How are you? All right. Hey, Kristen, I know you didn't hear before, but I sold my camera today. That's why I'm in Meriden right now. I met somebody and I didn't get killed. So that was nice. Oh, video now. Let's see what we have in here. I'm in Meriden, Connecticut. If I could open this. It feels like there's stuff in here. It's very hard to do this with one hand, guys. You can see my, my wrist about to break. Oh, uh, yeah, it's just video now. You never know if there's video games in there. Okay, guys, so where do you want me to check in this store? I'll go wherever you tell me to go. I think right now we're going to go check out the electronics, I'm pretty sure. Coats and silver. That's interesting. Okay, coats and silver. We could definitely check out the coats. I just want to see if there's anything hanging on this wall. I love these walls. Yo Yost is in Mystic, Connecticut. Oh, he lives in Florida. Oh, darn. That's a shame, man. 
Thank you for that other $2 super chat. What do we have here? Win cleaner, one click. Guys, I've sold some really crazy things that are like as seen on TV for a lot of money before. This is brand new. So for $3, I'm gonna throw it in the cart. Okay, so I have some good ideas from where to look in here because when I go thrifting, guys, I always go to the same spots in the store. I go to the electronics, the video games, um, and a couple aisles, and then I leave, you know? And whenever I try new things out, it helps. Here's some Sony CDRW. It's open, though, so that's nothing. Not even going to bother. All right. This cart, I couldn't have picked a worse cart. This is horrible. All right, let's see. We got some mugs and glassware. I don't really look at the mugs or glassware. I'm mostly looking for Amazon stuff, but we will still check everything out, guys. You'll see firsthand. We have over a hundred people in the house and only six likes. Wow. Come on, guys. Don't you like this? Give it a thumbs up. <laughs> It'd mean a lot to me. All right, check out Christmas and seasonal stuff. Oh, that's interesting this time of year it's right oh yeah christmas is coming up i'll definitely take a look see if i can wiggle through here there we go it's hard to do with one hand this cart is pulling all over the place all right here's a sony vcr plus it's interesting it's a ps2 for 40 dollars Controllers missing the joysticks, missing the cover on there. Forty dollars. What are they smoking? Yo, Yost again. Do I have more inventory on eBay than Amazon? Or on Amazon than eBay? Yeah, I have a lot more inventory over on Amazon. Uh, I'd say I have what? I think on eBay right now I have 188 items in my shop. On Amazon, I probably have around a thousand, just under a thousand. So I have a lot more on Amazon. Flick to stick bungees. What is this? It's $5. I'm going to throw it in the cart. And now, obviously, guys, I'm not um, scanning everything because I'm using my phone to live stream. So I have to look this all up after. But it's a great tip when you guys are at your thrift store and you know, you don't want to look everything up, throw it in the cart, go find a couch. Find somewhere to sit down and scan things because, trust me, it's a lot more comfortable than having to stand with people walking all around you. Now, it's not too bad right now because I got here kind of late at night, so I don't really have to worry. What is that? $13. Holy moly, guys. Holy moly. All right, so I'm getting close to the coats. We're going to go buy the banana, somebody says. Let's go take a look at that banana. I did find some games down there. Don't think anything's super valuable. This is the kind of banana that, the like Jamaican smoking banana that you win at carnivals. It's $4, it's kind of cool. It's a nice plush. All right, what is up Tennessee? So let's go take a look at some coats, guys. See what kind of stuff we're working with. Now, I am in Connecticut. Oh, I'm a Dolphins fan in Connecticut though. And that's old school. Seven dollars. Kind of high. Kind of high. So, but yeah, so we are in Connecticut, so prices of things are definitely going to be a little bit higher here than maybe where you guys are from. And I'll give you guys some examples right now. Here's the brand Arrow, uh, 1040 mine. We have a cutie, and these are no name brand things. 1349. 5 4 10 49. What else do we have? Eyes up for 10 49. Uh, striker, it's like a generic soccer jersey type thing. It's kind of cool, uh, but it's 19 bucks. So I never really look at the clothing here. King size, $15. Uh, Lands end, 14. Calvin Klein's only 10 though. So we'll flip through some of this stuff. You never know. Your starter for eight. Nothing special about it though. And guys, some of this stuff is, you know, dirty, not in the best shape. It's 
stains and oh yeah I'll pass most of this stuff um yeah people do it's it's really surprising to me I mean you guys can see the racks are still pretty full oh what up yo yo dude everything in Connecticut is more expensive yeah it definitely is Connecticut is extremely expensive man I mean it's crazy here we go six dollars it's a little more reasonable but look at this this is what some school hoodie and it's got you know it's peeling and tearing nine dollars just insane and I do show this in some of my videos on my channel obviously I show you guys you know what it's like to thrift in Connecticut it's a little tough it's a little tough Calvin 17 Izod 17 it's uh savers is not the place i normally go to i'm normally at goodwill which prices are a little bit better but they're definitely getting up there they definitely are yeah um i don't know i normally don't buy too many clothes at stores like this but we're just taking a look oh here here's here's a fun spot guys the jerseys let's play a little game I think this is Curtis Martin, number 20, right? Oh no, Jones, I don't even know who that is. Now, how much do you guys think this Jones jersey for the Jets is? It looks fake, the stitching is not the, well, no, stitching's not bad. What do you guys think the price of this Jones jersey is? Piggy Bank Villain says 24 bucks. Max says 15, Steve says 30, Brian A says 29, Vintage Discoveries 15. We have a $40 from RVA Flips. So let's see, let's take a look guys. Here we go. Bam. 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 30. 30 bucks. So a lot of people were in the 25 to 30 dollar range. And yeah, that's insane. You can see threads are pulled on it. I can't tell if it's legit or a repro. I can't really tell, but 30 bucks is crazy. Here's a plain Mets. 16 insane is this sanchez it is 20. fake af that's exactly right definitely fake here we go we have a pair of echo jeans for six dollars the jeans oh no these are shorts i'm in the shorts section that's why they're so cheap all right oh here we go guys the jeans section you want to see something really expensive? This is going to be really funny. Let's find like a popular brand of jeans. Well, here we go. They, they have a lot of Levi's, right? So we'll just take a quick look at the price of Levi's. 11. This one's only 349. It's got a hole right there. Uh, it's Faded Glory for $4 with a hole. Big hole. Um, yeah, guys, I mean, pretty, pretty nutty. Sonoma? Is that Sonoma? What do we have? Five nine nine. Yo Yost with a five dollar super chat, man. You're killing it tonight. What is going on? Holy crap, thirty dollars for a jersey in goodwill. That's highway robbery, lol. Probably could get it for less online, even after shipping, to be honest. I one hundred percent agree with you. The prices can be nuts in Connecticut. But you know, I show you guys what I see. I'm trying to be as real as I can. I deal with these struggles just like everybody else. Um, no cowboy boots. I don't think there's a single pair of cowboy boots here because I am in a non-cowboy boot state. <laughs> but let's see how much shoes are. I'm actually kind of curious. I don't see Okay, here we go, guys. You want to see a pair of beat up, stained, torn up shoes? Let's play the game one more time. How much do you think this pair of New Balances are? I mean, they have Sharpie on them. Somebody wrote the number 90 on them. Oh my gosh, okay. $20, $6, $10, $12, $6, $12.99. $12 oh my gosh, I wouldn't pay more than a dollar for these. Let's see if there's a price even on them. Oh, yep, the price is in the other shoe. Let's take a look, guys. Here we go. Six bucks, six bucks. So, of course, everybody gets a little high. Don't blame you. This place is kind of crazy, but who would spend $6 on these shoes? Would anybody here spend $6 on these? Look at this. Oh my gosh. Who would donate these? That is just insane to me. 
All right, so we're gonna leave the clothing because clothing here is, I mean, come on. You, you guys have seen the prices, it's just not worth it. I mean, no matter what kind of clothing we look at, here's some sweaters, $16 for a sweater vest, $13 for a plain sweater, $11, $16. And it's crazy to me because people come here and they buy this stuff. I don't know how or why, but they do. And uh, you get this same stuff, better brands, brand new at TJ Maxx for cheaper. But we did find some cool things. I have no idea if uh, any of these are actually worth anything. We'll find out very soon. Somebody wants me to head back to the electronics section. We will head back over there. Let's actually loop around. What is on sale, uh, Dee asks. Nothing, so this store doesn't do sales unless it's like a certain day. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Sure, I did it. So, yeah, they do a 50% off sale here, but it's like once every month, maybe, or once every couple months. Besides that, they don't run sales like weekly. This is kind of interesting. I just saw the corner of my eye $6.99 for this dartboard holder. Let's see if I can move some of this stuff out of the way. Let's see. That's kind of cool. The Robin Hood. I mean, the dartboard inside's broken, but the dartboard holder is pretty cool. Um, yeah, guys, they need more sales to move some of this stuff. Let's take a look. Some VHS players. There's a Phillips VCR Plus, ten dollars. It's not bad, but price a little high. Hmm. Right, there's a, a Sony. It's missing the. It's kind of funny, actually. Let's see, guys. Let Let's see. <laughs> Somebody put Scooby Doo on here, and it's missing the dial. It's pretty beat up and dirty. Ten dollars. I don't even know what that gunk is on there. That's pretty bad. Yeah, there is a PS2 up here. Okay, so guys. You want, to, you want to see something hilarious about this PS2? It's $40. Here's the controller it comes with. Missing both of the rubbers on the analog sticks. Um, the front is missing the tray cover. And the back is missing... I think that's where the hard drive goes. And there, the screws are taken out. So somebody opened this up and probably tried to fix it. So that means it was probably broken. 40 bucks. Yeah, I would say it definitely belongs in the garbage. Here's a Wii Nunchuck for $4. Wouldn't pay any more than a dollar for that. Alright, let's see what else we have. Some Wii accessories for $8. Not very cheap. Wow, guys. When I first got here, I was kind of hopeful. Now I'm not super hopeful. Now, I've done really well with these uh, VTech phone sets. This is 15 bucks. I mean, this could easily be $75 to $80 very easily. And um, I think I'm gonna have to, you know, leave it because I have so many at the house that I have to test. And these things almost always need new batteries, guys. So when you buy these, you gotta test them because a lot of times, and I've had lots of returns and I'm spitting some knowledge at you guys with these phones. Um, lots of times I'll plug it in to charge it, turn on the button, the call button works, everything's good, right? Then I get a return because it won't hold a charge and people don't realize that you could just put rechargeable batteries in here. They don't want to do the work to buy it on Amazon so it gets returned to me. I have to eat all the shipping costs. So always remember to leave this on the charger for overnight. Leave it on there for 12 to 24 hours. You want to make sure it holds a charge. Uh, I see a crazy super chat by Yo Yost again, 1999. Holy moly, my friend, I love you now. <laughs> Yo, I'm I'm out, homie, but much love. Keep crushing it. I hope to hit 20k like you in inventory at some point soon. I've been buying storage units and stuff to try and ramp up my inventory quickly. It's been going pretty amazing. That is awesome, man. That is 
freaking sweet. I've tried to do storage units and I will do some storage units on this channel shortly. So keep in tune for that. Thank you for that. Super chat. Yeah. <laughs> Piggy Bang Villain says 1999. I can now go buy that jersey. I think I'm going to hold off on that jersey. Okay, what do we have here? I'm trying. What is this? Here's a Belkin four port hub for $7. Oh, it's cracked and broken in there. I'm not even gonna bother. Not even gonna bother, guys. Here is a, a third-party controller. No price. Probably too much. Here looks like a screwdriver from a dollar store. They want two dollars for the dollar store screwdriver. They gotta make money too. Now, there is one last spot, guys, that I haven't checked. This is a weird chair, except there's a nice big stain right there. I don't know whose butt was on that. But uh, we're going to go check out the board games. Because that is the one spot I did not check out. Now, I don't normally scan books at places like this. And I couldn't even do it live right now because I'm using my phone to stream. But normally, I would be able to scan some books and CDs, which I might do when I get off of the live stream let's take a quick look at the board game see if we see anything good now I'm only looking for things that are brand new sealed that's all I want brand new sealed for Amazon listen Doug I'm restricted I can't even sell that here's something cool seven dollars for the volcano kit that's really cool I'll stick that in there look it up in a minute what else do we have that's it that's the, <laughs> that's the only thing um, I do look for book sets book box sets to sell and also guys right down here look at that hardcover Harry Potter hardcover Harry Potter once you I've sold an entire set of these hardcover Harry Potters for I think $80 over on eBay now there's an issue. Normally it would be great. The bad thing is that the savers, books are pretty expensive. Let's see. Where are the prices? Here we go. Here's the prices. Okay, buy four books, get one free. But because the books were originally $10, they're $349 each. So I'd have to spend $369, $12. 13 14 dollars on four of the harry potter books which is that's crazy because i still need to buy more i'm not spending 14 bucks i usually buy them at a buck or two i'm not going to spend 349 on them which is just just a little too much it's a little crazy guys but i'm going to be looking all this up if i do end up getting anything I will definitely post it in a later video. I hope you guys did enjoy this. Thank you everybody for checking it out. Remember to give it a thumbs up before you leave. And guys, whoever's watching this on the replay after the fact, leave some comments down below. Leave me some questions. If you have any questions, I will try to answer everything I can. I'm pretty good with that. So I will see you guys all later. Thanks for tuning in. Thrift School signing out. See ya.